So we've got DHS stockpiling ammunition, right? And I was just sent literally 15 minutes ago um, a comment by ears to you. Thanks. This is a shout out to you, by the way. I want to thank you for this uh, little notification that you sent me in the comments. The U.S. military is preparing for something. So in the past 15 minutes, I've gone ahead and found all the footage, and that's what you're watching right now, um, by a Twitter account called Already Happened. And you can see all these, uh, this, this, these videos, images, and a lot more at already-happened.com. I mean, this is incredible, this, this video on the screen here. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing the amount of military equipment? What in the world is going on? What in the world is about to take place? You see, we have Obama who telegraphed every single move he made. Which is why we had a, a lot to report on when it came to the military. Of course, this was on mainstream media and so on and so forth because they were reporting on it. Obama was telegraphing his moves before he made them. And of course, that's part of the reason why we have such a problem with ISIS. But there, it goes much deeper than that. They helped create it. They created it. Let's put it that way. But now, investigative, independent journalists are on the streets, and in this case, in the air, capturing footage of an incredible amount of military equipment. Have a look at all of this. Now, at first, when I had seen these, I'm not going to lie, I, I was really thinking, maybe these videos are... Uh, are um, created, like using Adobe or Final Cut. But no, you see the people? That's what proved it to me as well, that this is legitimate. And I also spoke with uh, the, the Twitter account, Already Happened. He's, he's captured most of this, and of course, some of it he's been sent as well. But this is, this is, look at all of that. Now, of course, each year we see some amount going from whether it be north to south on the west coast or east to west we see that the, the, the transportation of military equipment. But given all that has taken place lately, and as, as you can see on your screen here, there's a lot of a buildup going right now. They're preparing for something. They are preparing for something. Now this, of course, is a different tweet. And I'll show you the tweets in just a second here too. Um, this was military equipment or some movement which was spotted over US Route 90. And of course I'll read you uh, what's on already-happen.com. Photos of some uh, of US Humvees and Stryker combat vehicles patrolling the streets of Manbij are surreal. A reminder that we are no longer under Barack Obama's restrained doctrine. US generals are now in full control of US policy in Syria. President Donald Trump is making good on his campaign promise not to tell the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, also known as ISIS, about his plans to defeat them. Yet both allies and foes are puzzled by that new approach. What is unmistakably true, though, is that recent changes in the structure, process, and tactics of U.S. policy are setting new tone in northern Syria. Unlike the centralized approach of his predecessor, the current U.S. president has a hands-off approach, or rather, a preferential treatment when it comes to the military. We just have to ask ourselves, what in the world is actually going on? Here is the uh, Twitter account of Already Happened. Again, you can go to that website by already-happened.com. Um, if you look at the, the one on the top right here, huge amount of tanks and armored vehicles being moved to the East Coast is the U.S. preparing for a major war. It's got over 857 retweets already. And it's March 14th. That's in three days. I mean, this is incredible footage, folks. And of course, you got meanwhile in the West Pacific. It would strongly look like the U.S. is gearing up for something. I got to pause it because of the music. Oh, I guess I can mute it. And then, of course, down here, some movement already spotted over U.S. Route 90. As you can see, this is the video from earlier that I showed you as well. Uh, just have a look at that. What in the world is about to take place? You've got this massive buildup with North Korea. And of course, then you have the South Korean president being ousted. 
And of course, that's going to change the relationship in the region. So currently, we have the THAAD missile system being deployed um, to South Korea, right? Well, under the new potential new president, that could be removed. And of course, there the new president wants to go through a different approach to North Korea, which of course is going to change the relationship with the U.S. and South Korea. And it's going to be more of a pro-Chinese sort of relationship because you bet China's had their hand in a lot of this right now. Welcome to the multipolar world order where things are always shifting, always changing like this. And as we keep going through it, again, folks, we are here. Phase three, a system of multipolarity increases rivalry in world politics. You've got the South China Sea, you've got North Korea, you've got the Syrian conflict, you've got an issue with Russia that is still going on. And there's more to come. The reason being that many states of similar strength compete for power and influence. These states are often uncertain of other states' intentions. Check out Europe right now. How unsure are they of Donald Trump's intentions? How's the relationship with Germany and the U.S.? It's shaky. A massive shakeup is taking place right now, and everything is increasing the probability of military action. Also, the power balance in this type of system is changing constantly, and we're seeing that right now. You just saw South Korea. They ousted their president. And you've got the Democrats here trying to oust Trump, too. As a result of changing alliances, as a result of of a sleight of hand almost by the elite or the cabal. Multipolarity denotes the fundamental power structure in an international system dominated by several large powers and is characterized by the antagonism between those. Keep that in mind. A lot keeps changing and it's going to keep on changing. Wars and rumors of wars. These are the end times. I want to thank you all for watching and listening. God bless and carry on. Go Unlimited. Act now and save almost 50% on a yearly membership. Use promo code SUBPRO15. Find out more at christiantruther.com info.